everyone, Caroline here. Um, today I just wanted to show you um, a, a roller technique for making um, a background with your stamps. And um, for this I'm going to be using my Imala uh, Floral Feather Stamp. And that makes a, a, going to make a lovely background. Go through all your stamps that you've got and see what you think would make um, a good background with this. Um, I took off um, my lid off my old um, uh, tonic stamping platform and I stuck it on there but it's actually stuck stuck down so if you can see that I'll show you that um, and all I do is I stamp it up stamp up the stamp and I'm sure all of you with jelly plates have got uh, the the brayers, the rollers, um, and uh, they're worth getting. They're great. You can have some fun with them. And then all you do is you roller over your stamp like that, and you'll be able to see the uh, pattern on your roller. And then just go over your, over your background you want it on. It makes a very unusual background. You can see. I'll turn that over and do it again. This time I'll use Versafine Claire Pine Cone. It's a bit darker. So it might show a little bit more for you. The other was the acorn. And I'll uh, I'll, I'll do it up, upwards. There you go. It's a nice pattern, a bit of a grungy. This is just um, rag paper I'm using. Um, what I'm going to do now is to sort of distress the... using frayed burlap distressing and I'm just going to go over the uh, the edges to make it look a little bit aged. You can have some real fun with this uh, using your roller. Uh, Distress Oxide Ground Espresso. It's very soft paper for this rag paper, but it really does look nice to work with. And you see, see that lovely edge, and it it rips beautifully when you want it. To... Would be great with the text on or if you have um, a stamp that's uh, musical notes that would be good sort of repeats the stamp wherever you are on it and then um, on the edge I'm going to use the stamps by me acrylic a metallic paint and this one is a copper. I've put it into my uh, paint palette and I've got a little sponge here that I use and, and I'm just going to do the edges with the copper. I've added water to it so that it's not too thick and it dries quicker as well when you add a little bit of water. I've 
been painting with these uh, these uh, acrylic paints. I've been doing the uh, the feather, and uh, they, they are really beautiful. That's lovely. Okay, pop that over there. Get a clean piece of paper. on there and I'm just going to dry it off a little bit like I say if you add water to the acrylic it does dry quicker on my card now. Oops. My grandson was using this yesterday and I think he's mucked it up. Not to worry. All over me now that. Okay, I use a bit of glue. And this is the feather I did earlier with the metallics. You can see them. I put some uh, foam pads on the back. You can even do splashes on here with your metallic. so that you can see that better and that's it all done so like you can see you've got this unusual background from rolling your stamp some fun to have with your roller if you've enjoyed it please give us a like and a thumbs up and if you wish to see more feel free to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye